I believe that everything looks cute. Uh, me? Everything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the little duck bag, the hair. I was like, this girl looks like, she just looks very cute and young. That's what you look like. Like, oh, I have a feeling that you like looking different. Oh, it just look like the Asian people. <laughs> All Asian girls don't look like this. Most of them actually have glasses on like this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. You look, you don't look like a nerdy Asian girl. You look like the opposite of that. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Do you speak English? Yes, I speak. You look like this type of woman, so I had to come say hello to you. <laughs> you look like this type. I'm Anthony. Hi, nice to meet you, Lily. You work out? Yes, I do. You do. That's why I noticed when I, when I was walking past you. I was like, yeah, she has great style, but she looks like she works out, she tan a lot. No, it's fake tan. I don't, I don't go to sun bathing, so it's not good for your skin. It's just fake tan. So you just like the lotion you put on yeah. this day? Yeah. I wonder what you would look like if you took it off. White. Like super white? No, not super white, but I prefer to be a little bit tanned, you know? But it's not good for your skin when you are uh, go to the solarium or some basing, you know? Mm. And that's why. And it's quicker for me. That's it. So you really care about your health? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah. One of the reasons why you work out? Um, more or less. I like to work out. It feels good for me. And also, it, it's about the health. She's good at Yeah. I have to go. What are you doing right now? Uh, because my friend of mine waiting for me. So I have to go a little bit further. So, and it's traffic time. It is. It's the time of the day where everybody's getting off work. I like that I came up to you because you're walking so open. Do you know that? Yeah. Like you have a very like, it's almost like you're breathing the air. Like, like <laughs> I'm not explaining, but you were like walking and I was just like, she's, cause sometimes you see an attractive girl walking through and she looks very like blank, but you actually look open and that's very I'm, different to me. I'm friendly anyway. So maybe that's why, that's what you felt, maybe. You walk around with a friendly face like that all day? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm like that. So I don't know. I don't see myself. You know? It just... I think so. I'm, I'm a friendly person. I say, I know you're walking really yeah. fast. And I know you're trying to... Oh, okay, I thought your phone was there. Because I saw you doing like this earlier. You're trying to keep it in while you walk fast. Yes, and? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> yeah, did you... I can't believe this. It always happens with me here that some guys, they stop me in the street. You are always, are you American? Yes, I'm American. I live always here. American. I really? live here though, yeah. So I'm now I'm Hungarian, so that's a lie. I'm not American, I'm Hungarian. Uh-huh. All right. And what are you doing here? I've been here for three years, actually. Uh-huh. Yeah, and Study. Hungary is my favorite place. Budapest is my favorite place, not Hungary. Are you studying? Work. Uh -huh. Alright. I know, I know this is just like, why does this keep happening to me? I don't know why it keeps happening to you. But you should feel nice. Guys like you. <laughs> yeah, you should I feel, feel nice. nice but I don't know. It's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> really? What's embarrassing about it? No, I, it's kind of, I appreciate guys who have the courage to stop girls on the mm -hmm. street because you know, Hungarian guys, they are so shy, they, they only dare to get to know girls when they are drunk in clubs and stuff like that. But I like when a guy is sober, sees a girl and he likes it. But actually I have a boyfriend, uh -huh. so... But if I that's, didn't tell him, I think I would be interested in to meet you. <laughs> no, that's, that's fine. I just wanted to come see who you were. I love the look of you. You have good style, by the way. Sorry? I love your style. It looks great, by the way. Oh, thanks. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's okay? your name? Anthony. Anthony. I believe that everything looks cute. Uh, me? 
everything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the little duck bag, the hair. I was like, this girl looks like, she just looks very cute and young. That's what you look like. like. Oh, thank you, thank you. And now that I'm here, you like art? Is that what it is? Is that why you look like this? You love art? I love what? Art. I uh, know. Uh, yeah, today is my birthday, so I want to wear, wear the some special. Mm. Huh? Yes. Mm. Oh, it's raining. It's going to rain. I was about to say, yes. be careful. You might want to move this way under the tree so you uh, don't get wet. Is she Hungarian? No. Uh, Korean? China. China. I know this may be a little bit uh, weird for somebody to come up and talk to you like this. Hi, it's, uh, it's uh, normal because I'm um, studying here. You study here? Yes. Uh, not Budapest, but study here. Where would you study besides Budapest? Uh, and this is in another city somewhere? Yes, another city. What? Why didn't you, why didn't you choose Budapest? That's insane. <laughs> you're, you're learning English? Yes. Yeah. I can hear it in the way you speak. You're learning English. Yes, I learn English. If I learn Hungarian, I think it's difficult. First of all, you is not going to help you anywhere else <laughs> yes. but in Budapest. And you're only here from school and then you're leaving, yeah? Mm -hmm. Where are you going to after Budapest? I mean, after you go from Hungary, where are you going next? Just go back, go back to my country. Did you, did you only want to study here because it's abroad? Oh, yes, just study. Oh, okay. Because I don't want to... I don't want to uh, like work in another country or uh, something mm -hmm. because uh, my family, just my mom, uh, she want my, she want me to go back to China. So family is very important to you. Yes. Yeah. So did you wait for something? Uh, I was walking through, uh. and. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, your, do you, this is a painting, right? Your earrings? That's a painting. Yes. <laughs> like I, I've, I've seen that face before. It's on like a painting, right? Yes. yes. I, I, but it's fake. Ah, it's yes. Not, I don't. It's on our oh, is this is this a millions of dollars? No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I think it's cool though. I didn't know. That, you know, it looks cool. I have a feeling that you like looking different. Like the Asian people. All Asian girls don't look like this. Most of them actually have glasses on like this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. You look. You don't look like a nerdy Asian girl. You look like the opposite of that. <laughs> yeah. Most girls that, are, that I've seen Asian, they have on glasses mm -hmm. and they wear like just a T-shirt and some jeans. Uh, yes, I also wear glasses, but I I don't want to wear it to go outside. So you actually you actually have a nerdy look. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Can I come with you? Uh, it's your birthday. Sorry, but my friend uh, say a little bit shy, so. Oh, you're you're more open than your friend. Your friend is more shy than you. Uh, yes, she's shy, but uh, when the, uh, when uh, some uh, someone talking with me, I just don't know shy. Huh? <laughs> With someone like you to t talk to with me, mm -hmm. and it's I think I think it's normal. It's normal. But she uh, like uh, think she is weird or something. Oh really? Uh, yes, because uh, I think it's normal, but she think it's, um, it's weird. Because uh, you know the uh, in my country don't like uh, the other people don't like that. Oh, they don't talk to each other like this yes, in your country. Yes, because, because we don't know each other, so mm -hmm. uh, don't. Have you met people like this before? Have you met friends or anything like this before? Yes. You have? Yes. But your friend would never? No. <laughs> You're saying your friend would never meet somebody like this. Am I right? Uh, no, uh, she, she meets 
somebody like that, but she don't want to talk to with him. Just uh, uh, you ask, I answer. You ask, I answer. Don't uh, they don't do something <laughs> like? <laughs> it's like, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> China, like it's like you yes. just, you just. It's very like, short. Answer. <laughs> How do you contact your friends? Through Facebook, Messenger? Uh, in the Chinese app? I have a Chinese app. Oh, uh, really? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but do you have Facebook, Messenger? Uh, yes, I have Facebook. Uh, let's say you come back uh -huh. and you have free time, then you can do it then. Okay. All right, but I know right now you have to go, but uh, we can write on Messenger okay, okay. and figure it out. Okay? Yes? What is your name? Uh, you can, uh, because my name is Chinese Alexa. <laughs> okay, okay. So you can Write it in. Do you have, do you have internet? <coughs> oh. Yes, it's English. Oh, it is. It's uh, background. The words are transparent. Can you, can you see this screen? <laughs> yes. The words are transparent though. It's like. <laughs> okay, yes, this is me. That person there. Okay. You didn't tell, tell me your name? Xinyue. Xin, Xinyue. Xinyue. It's so unrealistic. When guys come into this and they believe that who I am right now is going to get that attractive girl. A girl who doesn't know who you are, has choice. How do you expect to have a chance when you have issues with getting to know somebody you don't know, when you have issues with when a woman is attractive, how do you expect for her to want to meet you? It's unrealistic. And this is something that I had to see in myself at certain periods is there's no way for me to be able to get certain women that I want unless I'm willing to change. And people go, change the way you do things, and that's an incorrect statement. It's change who you are, which means allow yourself to remove things that you're holding on to. As a man goes along this, he's holding on to certain aspects of himself. Yes, I want to speak to her, but at the same time, I care about what people think. Yeah, I want to go meet that woman, but I don't want to interrupt her. I'm a good person. As he's struggling with these, he's also frustrated of why I can't have women in my life. He doesn't see the madness. All he can see is, I'm frustrated, but I don't want to let go of what people think of me, and I also don't want to let go of me being a good person. This is what he can see. It is absolute madness simply because he doesn't know it's until he removes that he'll be able to have a chance. So he'll be stuck in the middle ground, and that middle ground will keep him stuck. This is why guys can't approach, because they're stuck in the middle ground. I want to do this, but I don't want to let go of what people think of me. And every time I come across someone that's like that, I just go, you have to choose a side. You do. And to choose a side, a side, means to remove something. To choose a side of, I care what people think, means to remove approaching women, or choosing the side of going after women is removing what people think of you. And I give you the same choice. Choose to remove the side of, I care what people think of me, and make the choice that you're going to go approach or choose to remove the side of approaching so I can care what people think of me. Choose to remove the side of 
I'm a good person, so that means I won't interrupt her or any aspect of what it means to be a good person. Or I'm going to interrupt her and I'm going to let go of what it means to be a good person. True changing is removing, not becoming. I really want you to understand this. It's not you become something else. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm not saying right now you're the guy who don't approach, become the guy who approaches. No, I'm saying you don't approach, remove the part of yourself that wants to be attached to, holding on to what people think of you, that you're a good person you won't interrupt, that you're afraid of rejection. It's these things that I'm talking about. It's a process of removing. And this is what any aspect of life. Don't let people just tell you that, you know, you need to become the man who's going to go speak to women. You need to become, become, become. When they're doing this, they're adding something to you. They're not coming from the premise of who you already are is absolutely enough. They're coming from the premise of who you are right now is not enough, but you can become something that's enough. To get results to women, to get better results to women, to get results that you really want, it requires changing who you are, which means it requires changing what you say that you are to what you actually are. And that is removing what you say that you are and allowing who you are to show through. This removal is very difficult, but you have the choice. I want to let you know it is a choice. And which Every side you focus on will manifest. If you focus on the side of, I care what people think, ah, oh, why do I just care what people think so much? That's gonna to continue to manifest. If you put all your energy and focus on the other side of, I wanna go speak to women, I wanna meet women, I wanna better my results, then that's going to manifest. It's absolutely unrealistic from the position that many guys operate from. It's very unrealistic. Don't get caught in the rut of, you know what? I want to go meet women, but at the same time, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I, I should do this, or yeah, maybe this is creepy, or or maybe this is this. Once you get caught in that rut, you will become paralyzed. Don't get caught in the rut. Don't get caught in that middle ground. You have the choice. It's not like you're powerless to choose on this. It is absolutely in your control and absolutely in your power to do this. But the moment you're stuck in the middle ground, you don't see anything but the middle ground. And that's why I'm happy that I'm able to share this with you because this process of removal will be in direct correlation to your results that you'll get. Direct correlation. When I started to remove things about myself like, you know what? Yeah, people are seeing me do this. I can see that people are noticing me. I can even notice that some guys are even laughing at me. I notice these things, but I'm still willing to do this. I made the choice that yes, I'm gonna let it be there, but I'm gonna put all my focus on what I'm doing. Yeah, this girl is walking like this, and you know, maybe I shouldn't do it at this time, and you know, she's talking to her friend and things are going well. I have to interrupt her. I have to. I must do the thing that I feel to be most true right now, which is interrupting her and saying hello. That means I must be willing to let go in that moment of I'm being a bad person, I'm doing something that's wrong. And as I continued on with this process of removal, something naturally started to happen. women started to respond differently to me. Because I made the choice that I'm gonna go and there was no more middle ground holding me back. The life that I had changed. I started to get women who really wanted to be around me, who were caring just like me, who wanted to love, who wanted to have sex in a different way who want it to be more than who they are. All this starts to happen. And I tell you, it won't happen until you leave the middle ground. The middle ground is where you will be unrealistic. 
it's unrealistic. The middle ground of no choice is actually fantasy. Because you haven't lived either way. And the thing that actually happens in the middle ground is that you don't do anything. You just make no choice. And it builds and builds and builds in you to frustration to the point where you just feel like, why even try? I thank you for tuning in with me for the time that you have. Understand that the middle ground is no longer a choice. Either choose the side that you don't want or choose the side that you want. Because whichever side you choose, you're removing the other side. And that's what you want. Remove the other side. And this process of removal and the healthy way will be towards what you want. And the unhealthy way would be towards what you don't want. Changing changes your results. I have my Budapest gathering happening. This is my last one of the summer. This is here in Europe, my last one. It's August 4th. If you want to know more about this, go below in the description box or go to theessenceofmen.com and there you can find the link as well. It's under my gatherings. This means seminar, but I call it gathering because it's much more than a seminar. I have two coaching spots left, two workshop spots left for the year. So if you want to know more about this, please write me at the essence, Tony Solo at TonySolo.com or go to the contact page on my website and ask me about it. The last ones are in Chicago and in San Francisco. Share this with anybody who you feel would understand this and wants to hear this and subscribe. This is the way you're going to be able to follow these videos. Who you are is valuable for that what you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you when I talk to you.